Assalamu alaikum. Nice to meet you online again. Today we are going to deal with Unit 11 reading. Before I start, uh, look at your book, page uh, 114, 115. 114, 115. First, the 114, look at the pictures at the top of the page and try to predict what is this uh, passage about, what is this uh, text about. Yes, geography, no, history, good, it is history, yes. You can see a uh, first picture of Petra and Jordan, it's a very famous uh, historical city. Second picture is for what? Yes, the pyramids. It's a very famous historical site in, the, uh, in Egypt. Can you see, you can see some of the scientists or inventors in his lab. Maybe Thomas Edison, maybe uh, Alexander Fleming. Good. Last picture, what is this? Excellent, is a, a child, indigenous a child of uh, the indigenous inhabitants of uh, the continent America. Of course, these are inhabitants of this uh, continent before uh, Columbus came and uh, discovered America. We call them the Red Indians. Good. So our lesson uh, about history, about history, bringing history to life. Paragraph number one. When American high school kids were asked what their favorite subjects were, history came in second place. So history teachers out there are uh, doing something right. What do history uh, teachers do to make it cool for students? Let's see. One of the reasons students think history is cool is because teachers are increasingly taking a multi-perspective approach to its teaching. They are encouraging their students or their classes to research the information in their text box, to do projects and to discuss historical events in class based on the information they have found. So teachers uh, give the students uh, uh, project, to do projects, give them time to do projects, to discuss their points of view. They don't only give them the book and read the book, uh, asking them questions. No, no, no. Go students, look for the facts. You look for the facts on the internet and different uh, resources. So. Uh, and they discuss later they discuss about this this makes the the subject is very uh, cool it's not boring at all that's uh, what teachers did to make students or to make uh, history cool so how are young people today finding out more about the past than what is in their school textbooks we spoke to four people about their favorite way of getting into the past. Let me ask you this question. Where can you get your historical information? Yes, I'm all ears. History books, good. Novels, good. What else? Movies, excellent. Biographies, very good. Okay, so we can we can uh, get our historical information from many resources, like I mentioned. Let's start the second paragraph. Historical novels, yes, as one of you said, novels uh, can give you a real feel of life and events and how people felt. We were studying contemporary European history, and I found it pretty difficult. Some of students found that it is difficult to study European history because it's very difficult, really. It has a lot of events, a lot of characters. Uh, that's when my brother said I should read Ken Follet Triology. Tri Triology means uh, a book divided into three books. 
three parts of the century and handed me winter of the world the second book of the trilogy which was published in 2012 the story starts in 1933 and concludes in 1949 when you read the text you must care about numbers and dates and events when you read this is a very important reading skill care about names numbers okay because you are going to be asked in this when when does it start when the story starts it starts in 1933 when does it end it ends in 1949 this is very important when you read any text any text to care about names to care about numbers and dates this is very important skill when you read a passage please pay attention as it follows characters from our different countries it helped me picture the way of life and the mindest of the time it uh, gave him it portrayed uh, the way of life the novel for the student and gave him the theory or the mentality of this time how people th thought this mindest means from different perspectives of course when you you get many perspectives it's very important it helped me understand what causes causes people to treat each other the way they do they treated them uh, in cruelty okay uh, war is very bad the second world war uh, killed a lot of people i mean people can be really understanding and compassionate or cruel for the kinds of reasons okay that's what he learned from this novel our student learned this what, uh, what do people feel uh, what did uh, did people feel during the uh, this time he got this from the novel so to uh, improve you can get uh, history from the novels and you can uh, get the the, uh, the other perspective perspectives points of view from it too second paragraph It was good to read this biography and get different perspectives. Good. We had to research a famous historical character and I chose Mary, Queen of Scots. One of the students chose uh, Queen Mary. She was a Queen of Scots, Scotland. Scotland is part of uh, the United Kingdom, of course. Queen Mary, he chose, he chose Queen Mary. Uh, he read, uh, he read, I read a biography about her and he found out that the most of the stuff you read in favor of her enemies. So it was good to get different perspectives on the story. He found some people said uh, bad things or bad stuff about the, this queen and some people defend her. Some say ba uh, bad things and some says uh, bad stuff, uh, good stuff. So. Uh, he can make his own point of view through this. So when you read a biography, try to read both of uh, points of view. Or many points of view. Number three. It is a great fell, and you really get an idea of what the Apollo 13 crew had to go through and why. I'll ask you a question. The third source. We said two sources of historical events. One, novel. Second one was uh, a biography. Third one now, who told me? Who can tell me what? Which a third uh, source of history? Historical event. Movie, excellent. I know this. I know this is not considered proper history by some, okay? because it is a movie by the way but it's an important part of the history of a space exploration yes apollo 13 speaks about it is the name of the movie by the way okay it, it, speak, it, speak, it speaks about space exploration the apollo 13, 13 mission reveal you can watch it it's very very important nice movie by the way revealed a lot about space programs you know that America and the Union Soviet had a race uh, to invade space. 
Apollo 13 uh, expresses the American point of view and the tries of the Americans to invade the space. There are pros and cons. Pros and cons, yani, uh, sorry, uh, the people who agree, the people who are against. And the way they were managed. The film portrays the astronauts as individuals as well as members of an amazing team. The movie gives you a portrait of the life of the astronaut as an individual. It is uh, near from you. Of an amazing team. It also portrays society in the US at that time. So also besides uh, the individual, it gives you a picture or a portrait. It portrays uh, the life of the society during this time. The pro uh, sorry, where well, stop. As far as the space history goes, I don't think I can remember the details of any other mission as well. The movie make this reader remember uh, or study history of uh, space exploration uh, as well as he can. Although I am a dedicated fan of all things Spain, Paul 17. So was this what about Paul? Paul what likes to get history through movies and this uh, enables him to memorize events very well. I encourage you to watch historical movies if you like. Okay. Let me ask you a question about this passage. What the main source here uh, we get history from in paragraph number three. Movies. Excellent. Good. Let's move to the final paragraph. It's amazing how much stuff you can find. Just recently we were studying about ancient settlers in the Arabian Peninsula. Madain Saleh was one of the most important settlers in the region. It was positioned strategically on a major trade route linking south and north as well as the economic and cultural centers of Mesopotamia, Syria and Egypt. Okay, Mesopotamia is uh, in Iraq, located in Iraq and Egypt. I went online and found some great websites with photos and interviews that brought it all life. Adnan 18. Adnan likes uh, what? Let me ask you about the source of Adnan. Some novels, some paragraphs, some movies and Adnan what? Internet, good internet. He took his he uh, he found um, he studied something about Madain Saleh or uh, Arabian Peninsula. Uh, so he looked on the internet or served in the internet and found many things, many useful things uh, about this. And he studied many civilizations like uh, Mesopotamia. Syria and Egypt, these are all civilizations, are very important to know or to learn with. Just recently we were studying about ancient settlers in the Arabian Peninsula. The place, of course, when you read a, a text, of course, uh, try to take, uh, like I said, uh, names, places. Madain Saleh. Where is Madain Saleh? Where is Madain Saleh? Okay, is it in Syria? No. Iraq? No, it is in European Peninsula. Okay. Why was Madain Saleh as, uh, important? It was positioned strategically on major trade route. Yes, linking south and north. It was linking south and north and it was a strategic uh, major trade route. So you care about these important facts because you are going to be asked about. Read the text again and answer the questions. How are the teachers making history more interesting? Yes, my students. Take your time. Yes. Good. 
they make the student uh, go internet or research or do researches okay uh, by the way I answered the questions in one paper and I'm going to uh, online it but put it online don't worry but uh, now we discuss the answers how are teachers making history more interesting yes they help students or encourage students to search about information themselves they must have their points of view good what are four tools the teenager recommended for bringing history to life yes number one let's check our resources again yes number one novels good number two biography biography excellent excellent number three Apollo 13 movies excellent and last one the internet the internet websites websites suitable answer what did Ed learn from Ken Foley novel take your time to answer this question Okay. What did Ed learn from Ken Follett? Oh, he knew about uh, the mindest of people, uh, the life, the way of life during uh, this time good good of course you, you can you can use your language answering your questions Don't, uh, uh, you are not obliged to, uh, to to do with the text only no or if you if you have more uh, extra easy words use it no problem be simple Question number four. What did Keith learn from the biography about Mary Queen of Scots? He learned that there are different when you study a biography about some person. Yes. I'm waiting your answer. Good. When you study the biography of someone, uh, you must uh, see the uh, opponents or the enemies and his friends or the pros and cons the people who uh, accept this person and the people who refuses this person okay you must see different uh, perspectives different points of view to make a good judge yes what information did Paul uh, Paul get from Apollo 13 yes take your time take your time yes he learned more about uh, he learned more about uh, what we call life of uh, astronauts as individuals and he portrayed the social uh, life uh, for the Americans at this time or during this time. Good. Why does Adnan recommend looking for material online? This is for you. Here I prepared the questions for you, the answers. You can look at it. Number one, today teacher, teachers take several points of views in studying history.
नंबर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू What are the four tools the teenagers recommend for bringing history to life? The answer: historical biographies, movies, and novels, and of course, internet. Question number three. I give you a chance. What did Ed learn from Ken Follett's novel? He learned how the people lived and thought in the old times from different perspectives. And uh, your answer is, uh, is also uh, respectable. We respect your answers, of course. Question number five, or sorry, number four. What did Keith learn from the biography about Mary, Queen of Scots? He got different perspective, perspective, sorry, about Mary Queen, about Mary, different perspectives, about Mary Queen of Scots. Yes. Question number five. What information did Paul get from Apollo 13? He got information about the space program and the astronauts as a part of American society. Very nice. Final question. Why does Adnan recommended, sorry, recommend looking for material online? Because text box don't go into enough details. So he went to the internet. Thank you all. Thank you for paying attention. Uh, I wish you understand. Uh, if you have any question, you can get on the groups and ask any question as you like. We are all ears. Nice to meet you. And I like to meet you again in the next lesson. Thank you all my sons. See you again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.